Hi, I'm Devya Karna from the Tutors and today's video we are going to learn about multiplication. In this video we are going to discuss about these two subtopics, times table of 6, 7, 8 and 9 and using tables for multiplication. Let us move forward with some pre-assessment questions. You can please pause the video and try these questions and once when you are done with them you can resume it to check your answer. Well, pat your back for your great efforts. Now let us move forward in discussing what are times table. One of the main properties of multiplication is that adding 4 lots of 3 gives 4 times 3 or adding 3 for 4 times that is 3 add 3 add 3 add 3 which will eventually give you 12. Multiplication can be said as same as repeated addition. We are going to use this property to find the times table. Now, let us talk about times table of 6. 6 times 1 is equal to 6. 1 lot of 6 is equal to 6 as you can see the depiction in this picture here. Now, 6 times 2 is equal to 12. That is, 2 lots of 6 is equal to 12. Now, talking about 6 times 3, we have 18. And now, 6 times 4, that is, as you can see here, the pattern that is adding 6 each and every time. So, 4 lots of 6 or 6 times 4 will be equal to 24. Let us write down the answer in the given boxes. Moving forward, now 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times 8 is 48. 6 times 9 is 54. And 6 times 10 or 10 lots of 6 is equal to 60. That's the 6 times table with us. Let us move forward in discussing the times table of 7. That pattern will now be changed to adding 7 each and every time as we move forward. Now as 7 times 1 is 7, 7 times 2 is 14, 7 times 3 will be 21. Whereas 7 times 4 is 28. 7 times 5 is 35. And 7 times 6 is 42. You can see here that 6 times 7 or 7 times 6 will both be the same as 42 because it's just switching the numbers around. Now 7 times 7 will be equal to 49 and 7 times 8 will be equal to 56. Also 7 times 9 is 63 whereas 7 times 10 is 70. Now talking about the 8 times table, 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, 8 times 4 is 32. And the same as 4 lots of 8 which is equal to 32 as well. Now moving ahead, 8 times 5 will be 40, 8 times 6 will be 48, 8 times 7 will be 56, 8 times 8 will be 64, 8 times 9 will be 72 and 8 times 10 will be 80. Now let us talk about times table of 9. 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 9 times 3 is 27, 9 times 4 is 36, 9 times 5 is 45, 9 times 6 is 54, 9 times 7 is 63, 9 times 8 is 72, 9 times 9 is 81, and 9 times 10 is 90. In the time table of 9, we have added 9 each and every time. So now let us talk about using tables for multiplication. We can use our knowledge of time table and instead of repeated addition to shorten our work. For example, instead of adding 5, 6 times, we can use our time table to find out what is 5 times 6. That is 30. And same goes with finding 8 times 4, that is 32. Now, let us try one worded problem based on multiplication. Let's read it out. James has 7 boxes of pencil and each box contains 9 pencils. How many pencils does she have all together? Here, we need to tell the total number of pencils she's having. So, what all we can do is multiplying 7 times 9 
and we get that to be as 63 that means overall she's having 63 pencils now let us try if you practice time questions you can please pause the video and try these questions and once when you are done with it you can resume it to check your answer well congratulations on your great efforts thank you so much for watching this video and for more you can please log into justtutors.com